In this video, I'm talking about the zodiac sign that is most known for its passionate and intense, deep sexual nature, Scorpio. If you're curious to know what sex with Scorpio is like, what turns them on, what turns them off, what they desire, how they show up, what happens behind the closed doors, I'm here to give you some insights and some answers. So let's talk about sex with a Scorpio. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer doing readings that are primarily natal. So if you have any questions about your chart, about your life purpose, your career, etc., or if you have any predictive questions, you want to know what's ahead for you. I also do relationship readings. So if you're dating someone, you're not sure about where the relationship is going or how to make a relationship more compatible, you can always book a reading with me at the link down below or at AnastasiaDoesAstrology.com. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave me a like or a comment. I appreciate that and it really helps my channel grow. It encourages YouTube to move my content to the front of the line and encourages more people to see and appreciate my work. And I hope if you like me and you like my channel, you're happy to help with that as well. Before we dive in and talk about Scorpio, I wanted to let you know that I create planetary magic candles and oils, and I highly recommend getting Venus, Kazemi for those in relationships, and Venus in Libra for those trying to manifest love. If you have your Venus or your Ascendant in an air or fire signs, and similarly, Moonlit Trinity is perfect for love, fertility, romance, and manifesting for those with Earth and water ascendant or Venus sign. You can find them on my website as well. I would also recommend you listen for your Venus or your Mars because those are two planets most intimately connected to love. And then you can also listen to your sun, moon and right or rising and compare. And if you don't know those, check out the link down below to get to a calculator and find out. Everything will be modified by the rest of your placements. We're just talking about, you know, Mars or Venus or one single placement in your chart if you only have one planet in Scorpio. And you really need to look at a chart as a living organism with multiple parts interacting together. So the best way to understand how this plays out in your life is to book a reading with a professional astrologer. So Scorpio is a sign that rules Mars and it's um, actually Mars the opposite. Mars rules Scorpio. Signs don't rule planets. Planets rule signs. So Scorpio is ruled by Mars and it's a sign where Mars, the planet of sexuality, feels really comfortable in. Besides that, Scorpio also rules the genitals, right? So there is natural alignment of sexuality and Scorpio. It's a water sign, so it's very emotional and intense and deep and sensitive on a, in a lot of ways. It may not show it to you, right? Like it may have this, this reserved exterior. Scorpio, Mars, or people with strong Scorpio placements a lot of times are like ninjas. They will, they will have a very busy or very interesting, very kind of intense sexual life but you're likely to never know you may just see the outside they show you that might be very different depending on their rising sign or depending on their sun sign right um it's a fixed sign so the passions run very deep and they can be very loyal they can be very stable in their relationships and it's a yin sign it's a feminine sign ruled by mars like i said so very strong sex drive, very like long lasting. They have high stamina. They can make love to you all night, um, different parts of your body because it's the sign that rules genitals. Lots of oral. Oral both turns them on and they're also very generous at giving it to you. Um, they may enjoy staring deeply into your eyes and they will reciprocate if you're someone who initiates deep stares. There's, there's like very kind of hungry, soulful, transformative bond, right? Like 
they would want to penetrate and own your soul it's not just sex it's so much more i've been told by people with um by clients with mars and scorpio that during sex they almost like connect with the universe they they trans transmit the energy into the universe right like scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth and sex in french is called le petit mort um a little dot little death so so the sign is so so aligned and i think orgasm maybe actually not the sex orgasm is called le petit mort um so through through having an orgasm they connect to that intensity that the sign is so known for so kind of you know has the strong reputation so very lusty very passionate very intense very private about their life so they wouldn't enjoy you kind of sharing things with others potentially um scorpio always has a bit of an obsessive quality or you know they grapple with the question of control and power so they might secretly want to control you or possess you but at the same time give them too much and they might kind of although i don't i don't actually i take it back i think they will enjoy knowing your secrets they will enjoy knowing your deepest desires like you sharing a secret with them will be a turn on but they wouldn't want you they always kind of appreciate mystery right like you being completely consumed by them will will not going to be enjoyable for you or for them so you it would be good if you're still like have your own life right like even if you're having extremes of passion and the best kind of experience as well having sex with them don't like sign don't sign off your soul to them i think um unless that's what you're looking for there is an element of like walking the thin razor blade blade with them right like i think i think like breaking the rules being somewhere on the edge like having sex in the taxi cab somebody i knew did it um having a having like sex in a public place or having it somewhere where they can get caught there is definitely like an element of like loving to break the rules loving to to do things that maybe maybe are even more dangerous even more kind of challenging for them they can be quite open-minded quite open to trying different things and like those those topics of control and domination can be flip flipping once in a while right like i think they will definitely show it like they can be very it's a very physical sign right so they can hold your hands back during sex or they will like tie you up they will like use handcuffs like anything like that but they may also enjoy you doing it to them even if they don't openly ask for it you know having open conversations discussing it could be like very helpful i think it's a water sign so i think enjoying being in a bath together or taking a shower together it's a very physical sign so touching them giving them massages like looking at them closely and intently could be all a really big turn on as well as maybe like implying sex right like showing if you're wearing a sexy bra kind of showing a strap or telling them that you're not wearing any lingerie like will likely drive them crazy if you have this placement let me know if you resonate let me know if there is something i'm forgetting and you would like to add in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed it i'll talk to you soon bye